Magandang araw. We are now on our week 7 in our Mathematics 6. At sa linggong ito ay pag-aaralan natin ang division of whole numbers and decimal numbers. Pagkatapos ng module na ito, ikaw ay inaasahan na makapag divide ng whole numbers sa decimals hanggang dalawang decimal places o kabaliktaran nito decimal places to whole numbers at mixed decimals hanggang dalawang decimal places. Ang word decimal ay nagmula sa Latin word na decima na nangangahulugan na ikasapong bahagi. Kahit kung magamit tayo ng iba't ibang notation, we are still considering the non-negative rational numbers. Ang pag-divide ng decimals ay tulad ng, tulad ng multiplication ay maaaring gawin either sa pamamaraan ng fraction o pamamaraan ng decimal. Narito ang iba't ibang pamamaraan ng pag-divide ng decimals. Step 1, para sa ating halimbawa na makikita nyo rin sa inyong module, let us divide 49 by 7 tenths. So, laging tandaan, gagawin ninyo ang divisor na full number. Since it is one decimal place, multiply the divisor to 10. At the same time, multiply the dividend by 10. So, kailangan muna ninyong alalahanin o review which of these numbers ang divisor at alin dito ang dividend. So, sa example natin, ang ating divisor ay ang 7 tenths at ang ating dividend ay 49. So, we have to multiply it to 10. That is why, iyon ay naging, ang 7 tenths natin ay naging 7 at ang 49 natin ay 490. So, para mas madali, instead of multiplying it by 10, pwede nyo rin naman i-move ng isang beses pa kanan or to the rightmost part of the decimal to make it whole number para ito maging whole number isang beses lang since ito ay may isang decimal place lang at kung anong ginawa nyo sa inyong divisor yun din ang inyong gagawin sa inyong dividend so the 7 tenths becomes 7 and yung 49 ay naging 490 bakit naging 490? you have to add 0 if necessary kung kinakailangan since nag-move kayo sa part na ito, kailangan yung dagdagan ng zero ang inyong dividend. For our step 2, divide the numbers. So, in dividing numbers or dividing whole number, we will start from the highest place value. At dito sa ating dividend, ang highest place value natin is 4. Since wala tayong 7 sa 4, we will move to the next, which is 49. So, 49 divided by 7 is 7, and 7 times 7 is 49. We will subtract. So, 49 minus 49 is 0, then bring down 0. 0 divided by 7 is 0, then 0 times 7 is 0. So, we don't have a remainder. Therefore, 49 divided by 7 tenths is 70. Para sa ating step 3, check. And for us to check, we have to multiply our quotient o yung sagot natin sa ating pinag-divide sa 7 tenths na ating kaninang divisor. So, multiply 70 by 7 tenths. So, ang ating product ay merong isa lang na decimal place. Since ang ating factors dito ay meron lang ding isang decimal place. Para sa inyong learning task 1, find the quotient and check. Write your answer in your notebook or in your answer sheet. So, for number 1, 2, and 3, you have to divide the numbers or the whole number by decimal. For number 1, you have to divide 208 by 8 tenths. So, first, you have to move the decimal point once, since isa lang ang decimal point niya, to the rightmost part para maging whole number ang inyong decimal number. Then, since nag-move kayo ng isa sa inyong divisor, you have to also move once sa inyong dividend. So, makikita nyo meron ditong space. So, you have to add zero since nag-move kayo. So, ganito ang mangyayari. The 208, which is your dividend, became 2,080 divided by 8. So, ganun yung gagawin nyo sa number 2, 355 
divided by 5 tenths. So you have to move once for the divisor and for the dividend. Same process ang gagawin nyo just like the example na binigay ko sa inyo. For number 3, 312 divided by 6 tenths. So move once, 6 tenths para ito yung maging whole number. Then move once sa inyong dividend para same kayo with your divisor. We are now on our development part. So, paano nga ba nagdi-divide ng decimals? Paano tayo magdi-divide ng decimals sa decimals at mixed decimals sa decimals? Ito ang iba't ibang paraan para makapag-divide tayo ng mixed decimals by decimals. Halimbawa, ang ating i-divide ay 25 hundredths by 5 tenths. Para sa ating step 1, gagawin natin na ating divisor na whole number sa pamagitan na pagmumultiply nito by 10 or i-move natin ang decimal point sa decimal place sa kanan para ang divisor natin ay maging whole number. Halimbawa, ang ating divisor ay 5 tenths. So, i-move natin ng isa pa kanan kaya ito ay magiging 5 Para sa ating step 2, i-multiply din natin ang ating 25 hundredths by 10 o maaari natin i-move ang ating decimal point ng ating dividend sing dami ng place ng ating divisor. Tandaan, kung ano ang ginawa natin sa divisor, yun din ang gagawin natin sa ating dividend. Kanina, nag-move tayo ng isa pa kanan o isang decimal place pa kanan ng ating divisor so mag-move din tayo ng isang beses pa kanan para sa ating dividend. Sa ating halimbawa, ang dividend natin ay 2,500, so isang beses lang pa kanan. That is why, meron tayo ngayon 2 and 5 tenths divide by 5. Para sa ating step 3, i-divide natin ang ating number na parang nag-divide lang tayo ng whole numbers. Ilalagay natin ang decimal point ng ating quotient sa ibabaw ng decimal point ng ating dividend. So in our example, meron tayong 2 and 5 tenths. So, ilagay lang natin sa tapat ng ating decimal point ng dividend, yung ating decimal point ng ating magiging quotient. Then, we have to divide it na parang nag-divide ng whole numbers. So, 2 divide by 5 is 0. So, that will be 0. Subtract 2 and 0. And we have 2. Bring down 5. That is why we have 25. 25 divide by 5 is 5. Then, 5 times 5 is 25. Then, subtract and we have 0 as our remainder. So, our answer here is 5 tenths. Para sa ating step 4, i-multiply natin ang ating quotient at ang ating divisor tulad ng pag-multiply natin ang whole number. Ilalagay natin ang ating decimal point sa product sin dami ng bilang ng decimal place na meron tayo sa ating quotient. So, let us now multiply. 5 times 5 is 25. So, we have pin down 5 then carry 2, 5 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. Since meron lang tayo isang decimal place, that is why isang decimal place lang din ang meron tayo sa ating product. So, pag divide naman natin ng decimal at ng mixed decimals sa iba pang decimals, gagamit tayo ng following steps. First, or una, kailangan natin ang divisor natin ay maging whole number sa pamagitan na pag-move ng decimal point nito sa pinakakanang parte nito o i-multiply natin ito by 10 kung isang decimal place lang at i-multiply natin by 100 kung dalawang decimal places. Halimbawa, ang ating divisor sa unang halimbawa ay 2 tenths. So, ibig sabihin meron lang tayong isa. So, we have to move once or one decimal place to the right. At kung meron naman tayong dalawa or dalawang decimal place sa ating divisor, we have to move twice, one, two, to make it whole number. Second step, i-move ang decimal point na ating dividend sing dami na movement natin ang decimal point na ating divisor. Or i-multiply natin ito ng by 10 or by 100. Tandaan kung ano ang ginawa natin sa ating divisor, ganun din ang gagawin natin sa ating dividend. So, since ang ating dividend here is 1 and 8 tenths, i-move natin isang beses. Since isang beses, din natin i-move ang ating divisor kanina. 
So, this will be 18. Kada sa ating pangalawang example, ang ating 45 hundreds, imumove din natin ng dalawang beses. Kaya ito ay magiging 45. Third, insert zeros to the dividend when needed. So, magdadagdag tayo ng zero sa ating dividend kung kinakailangan. Halimbawa, ang i-divide natin ay 1 tenths divided by 25 hundreds. First, kailangan natin ang ating divisor na maging whole number. And to make it whole number, kailangan natin mag-move dalawang beses pa kanan. Or mag-multiply tayo by 100. So, 1 and 2. Since dalawang beses tayo nag-move sa ating divisor, dalawang beses din tayo mag-move sa ating dividend. So, 1 and 2. Makikita nyo, meron ditong bakante. So, that's the time that you will add 0. So, ang ating magiging number ngayon ay 10 divided by 25. So, now, pwede na tayo mag-divide. 10 divided by 25 is 0. So, 10 minus 0 is 10. And we have to add 0 in our dividend. So, this will become 100. 100 divided by 25 is 4. And then, 4 times 25 is 100. And we have to subtract that is 0. So, our answer is 4 tenths. So, for your learning task 2, divide the following and check. Write your answer in your notebook or in your answer sheet. So, for number 1, example ng inyong gagawin para sa learning task na ito, you have to move twice para maging whole number ang inyong divisor. And since twice ang movement ninyo sa inyong divisor, twice din ang inyong movement sa inyong dividend. And that is the time na kayo ay pwede nang mag-divide. So, same process for number 2, number 3, 4, 5, and 6. And for your learning task 3, solve the problem carefully by answering the questions below. Use the first step in solving word problems. Write your answer in your notebook. So, kung inyong matatandaan, yung nakaraan linggo ay pinag-aralan natin ang apat na step in solving word problems. First, you have to understand the problem. You have to look for what is asked for. Hanapin kung ano ang tinatanong na dapat ninyong makita ang kasagutan sa problem na inyong babasahin. Pangalawa, device a plan. So, what are you going to do? What solutions do you need to make para makuha ang tamang sagot? For number three, you have to carry out the plan. And for number four, you have to check if your answer is correct. So, for word problem number one, in science class, Miss Alcaldi had 30 and 6 tenths pounds of igneous rocks. She divided equally by weight into nine different containers. How many pounds of rocks will be in each container? So, in this problem, ang inahanap dito ay ilang pounds ng rocks ang mayroon sa bawat talagyanan. So, you just have to divide the 30.6 by 9 for you to get the number of pounds of rocks that will be in each container. For number 2, a fisherman caught 15 and 4,500 kilograms of fish. He distributed the fish equally among his five family members. How many kilograms did each family member get? So, in this problem, ang hinahanap dito ay kilogram na maaaring makuha ng bawat family member. So, what you have to do is to divide the 15 and 4,500 by 5. For you to get the kilograms each family member could get. For number 3, Marie would like to pour 3 and 5 tenths liters of fresh milk equally into 7 bottles. How many liters of fresh milk each bottle contains? So, ang hinahanap dito ay liters of fresh milk each bottle contains. So, ang kailangan nyo lang gawin ay divide ang 3 and 5 tenths by 7 bottles. At para naman sa inyong learning task 4, choose the letter of the best answer. Write the chosen letter in your notebook or in your answer sheet. 
For number 1, what is the quotient when 294 and 45 hundredths is divided by 1 tenth? So, para masagutan nyo ito, uh, bago matapos ang video na ito, ay i-recall -re natin kung ano nga ba ang 1 tenth, 1 hundredths, 1 thousandths para mas madali sa inyo ang kumuha ng quotient. So, for the choices, for letter A, 294 and 45 hundredths. For letter B, 2,944 and 5 tenths. For letter C, 29,445. And for letter D, 294,450. Number 2, what is 59 and 39 hundredths divided by 1 thousandths? Equal to A, 593,900. For letter B, 59,390. For letter C, 5,939. And for letter D, 593 and 9 tenths. Number 3, how many times greater is 6 and 45 hundredths than 1 hundredths? A, 645 thousandths. B, 6 and 45 hundredths. C, 64 and 5 tenths. And D, 645. Number 4, what will be the answer if we divide 819 thousandths by 1 hundredths? A, 819 thousandths. B, 8 and 19 hundredths. C, 81 and 9 tenths. And D, 819. For number 5, what is the quotient if we divide 54 hundredths by 1 tenths? A. 5 and 4 tenths B. 54 Letter C. 540 And letter D. 5400 At para mas madali ninyong masagutan ang yung learning task 4, ang 1 tenths ay isinusulat natin ng 0 0.1 Ang 1 hundredths ay 0 0.01 1 thousandths 0 0.001 At pag tayo ay nadi-divide ng decimal sa decimal we move the decimal point once to the right if we divide decimals by 1 tenth. So example, ang ating ini divide ay 5 and 63 hundredths divided by 1 tenth. So ang ginagawa lang natin ininomove lang natin ng isang beses ang ating decimal point. Kasi isang decimal place lang ang meron sa 1 tenth. Kaya ang sagot natin ay 56.3 or 56 and 3 tenths. Iminomove naman natin ang ating decimal point ng dalawang beses pa kanan kung ang itinidivide nating decimal ay sa 100s. Since ang ating 100s ay may dalawang place value or dalawang decimal places, iminomove natin ito ng dalawang beses pa kanan. So, ang ating magiging sagot dito ay whole number which is 563. At i-move naman natin ang ating decimal point ng tatlong beses pa kanan kung de-divide tayo ng decimals by 1,000. Pwede tayong mag-add ng 0 kung kinakailangan. So, ang sample pa rin natin ay 5 and 63 hundredths and na i-divide naman natin sa 1,000. Makikita nyo tatlo ang decimal place sa ating 1,000. So, mag-move tayo ng tatlong beses din pa kanan sa ating dividend. So, magkakaroon siya ng space dito. Kaya, kailangan natin mag-add ng zero. Kaya, ang magiging sagot natin dito ay 5,630. Good job, kids! You've made it this far!